we're going to start introducing into the Wake Up Minute series now uh, some of what I call the freedom keys. Uh, specific short ideas that can be particularly powerful, I believe, in helping people to awaken to their loving nature and to live more calm, happy, and wise lives. Now, the first of these freedom keys is called saying goodbye to the schizophrenic God. Many of us were raised, as I was, uh, with the idea that there is some kind of an external God uh, who is both all loving and merciful and who would uh, damn one to eternal uh, fire uh, for breaking his rules. Uh, subscription to this kind of God, uh, allegiance to this kind of God, um, saps one's personal power and hides from oneself and hides from oneself the true loving nature that's inherent in all of us. Most of it, most religion as we have practiced it in this world today, divides and weakens us. Now the purpose of any good religion, one that is worthy, uh, would be to unite and to empower us, to help us realize our connection to each other. Maybe a key aspect in all this is that when you really look at it from the level of the heart, most organized religion that incorporates a damning God teaches us to not trust ourselves, teaches us to believe that we're weak and that we should be afraid of the judgment of some external God uh, who would throw us into his eternal barbecue pit. This saps our spiritual energy and holds us back from realizing our true and loving nature. Most religions look upon uh, those who practice other religions as somehow being inferior, less worthy of eternal salvation. Again, this divides us against each other. It's not surprising that the vast majority of all wars that have been fought in our world uh, have been fought in the name of religion. Have been fought saying, you know, my God is better than your God and if you don't believe, you know, I guess I'm just going to have to kill you or, or, or do dominate your country or take you over and turn you into a slave. And re most religion turns us into slaves. So my question for you today, for you to look at if you may choose, is to ask yourself, you know, is my subscription to my religion, my allegiance to the God that I've been worshiping, is this something that really serves me to practice? Or is it something that saps my spiritual strength and hides me from my true self? And this is what I ask you to contemplate today.